Thank you for joining me on this Friday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. We'll get into the two areas we're watching for the potential of some development. The first one, once again, is in the Western Caribbean. There's been a lot of moisture, of course, this hurricane season. As we know, uh, back through parts of uh, Central America and the Western Caribbean, we're going to see another buildup of moisture. So that'll be one spot, spot number one, I'm going to monitor for some signs of development. The second area I'm going to watch for is this, off the coast of Africa. Uh, most of the models, environmental conditions are saying, hey, this is not going to develop. The European model, which did very well with Milton, does have this area eventually develop and just continue to trek off toward the west. This time of year, usually we're not looking off the coast of Africa, but the water temperatures are still so very warm. Usually we look closer to home for development uh, toward the tail end of the hurricane season. Uh, but this October, we're watching off the coast of Africa and close to home. So those are the two areas to monitor next, and we'll do that together as we continue to take things uh, storm by storm. Now let's show you this first spot, right? Here we are in Jamaica, Cayman Islands, uh, Mexico, as you get over toward the Yucatan, Belize, and Honduras, here's Nicaragua. Almost all of the models show a lot of rain building in this area, uh, but only the uh, American model at this point has this area developing. With that said, the American model, and I'll show you that, has this area developing into a hurricane and then rolling near Honduras, Belize, and Nicaragua. Nicaragua, uh, but right now the European, Canadian, and ICON models are not developing this area. It's just so very early as far as uh, what we're watching out for, an area to watch. That doesn't mean it's not going to develop. Doesn't mean it's, uh, you know, doesn't mean it is going to develop. It's just an area we need to kind of uh, babysit together over the next uh, few days. Then we get to that spot off the coast of Africa. The European model has that developed. So the American model has one area developing here. The European model does have this area developing into a tropical storm and getting close to the Northeastern Caribbean. So I wanna show you that in this video. The American, Canadian, and the ICON models all see that area off the coast of Africa, but they are not developing it. So just very early, the infancy stages of these uh, two spots. Now this here near Bermuda, that is what is left of Milton. It is not a classified system at this time. Uh, you see that right here. So watching this spot here, this is the American model, and you'll see this area develop. This is what's left of Milton, not even classified. Now it's not going to redevelop or anything like that. This is uh, Leslie. Leslie's still out there curving away though, but then we have that new area off the coast of Africa. So uh, we'll start with the American model, then I'll show you the uh, European model, and I want to show you uh, some of the waters that have cooled down in the wake of Milton and Helene. Now this, just going out in time, and we'll zoom down closer into the Caribbean in a moment, you can see here by Monday already the rain building. So we're still in the heart of hurricane season. October has been so active, so anytime you see a blob of rain, I pay very close attention to it to see if uh, the conditions become conducive for development. So as we work around time watching this, and then that spin right there. So let me stop the clock here, I'm bringing you into next week. So we're looking pretty far out in time here on Wednesday. The American model starts to develop this area, does not develop this. That is that spot off the coast of Africa, but I'll show you in a moment how the European model does develop that. Now, there's going to be a front moving in here. So a front sweeping in this time of year, there's a lot of fronts. If this front is quick, it may take this area and just kind of uh, keep it over Water and keep it away from Bermuda. But if this front kind of scoots by, this area may make its way a little bit more to the west. So the American model is just kind of watching that spot, but the focus would be over here on this. And you could see here as we get into deeper into next week, the American model starts to spin this up into a tropical storm and then eventually into a hurricane. Uh, and it doesn't show much development uh, in this area, but it does see it. Uh, so it does see it, so that's why I'm watching that, and it doesn't just kind of scoot away quickly. So know that Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, Anguilla, all the way down through Dominica, I'm watching this area very carefully to see if anything happens there. But then you see here, it has this spot just kind of roll into Belize and Nicaragua as either a tropical storm or a hurricane. So this would be a week from now, those two areas to watch. The American model does develop this. If this does develop, of course, that would be a big deal for us in parts of Mexico, Belize, Honduras, potentially Nicaragua. It may lift to the north. I'd be watching Cuba, Cayman Islands, and Jamaica, uh, and then just, just monitoring that. Now, on the flip side, it is just, and it shows you how difficult it is uh, to kind of see things into the uh, future because uh, while this shows some development, so does the American or the European model, but the European model shows the area way out there developing. Here's what's left right now 
of, of uh, Milton, and again, not an organized system. Let's go out in time with this, the European model, taking you out in time here into next week. Now, as we work our way into the middle of next week, and I'll stop the clock here, this is by Wednesday of next week. A few things to note on this uh, map. One here, another one of those fronts like I was showing you with the American model. Sometimes that grabs those areas. Also, a lot of times it could help leave moisture. So there we go in the Western Caribbean. There's a buildup of rain again. I'm going to watch out for some flooding. That flood potential will be high in Central America by next week. You see all that green forming, but this on your screen right there, this would be the end of next week, a week from now. That area off the coast of uh, Africa, the American model, or excuse me, the European model, I need some sleep. The European model does try to develop that area. So you see here at the end of next week, a lot of rain here, and then the European model tries to develop this. Here's that front, and hopefully this front grabs it before it tries to roll into the Caribbean. If it does develop, uh, but you see here it shows a tropical storm, potentially a hurricane somewhere near near the northern Caribbean, near the Bahamas once we work our way into really next weekend. So it's 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 really a wait and see at this point. May or may not develop. I know I know that's that's not super helpful, but what I'm trying to be helpful with is we have two areas to watch. And as we go day by day in these videos, I'm looking at everything behind the scenes and I'll be able to see if this area or this area is going to develop well in advance. So if something does come near us, if something were to come at us, I would let you know exactly what to expect what it means very specifically island by island and what we would need to do to prepare. But nothing imminent now, nothing as of now is headed our way, just those two pockets. Now, a lot going on in the environment this time of year, those fall fronts, pulling through the US, which can often steer these things, and watching the water temperatures. You can see here this blue shading in the wake of where Milton developed and where Milton went and where Helene went as well. A lot of blue shading in here, so the water temperatures have gone down uh, some. Now, they're still conducive for development. They're still warm enough. They've just gone down a little bit, which is helpful. That is no doubt helpful in case you get an area running over that. Uh, it would help that the waters are not as hot, but where I am watching in the Western Caribbean, that's generally been untouched uh, as a whole just recently. Those water temperatures, 30 degrees Celsius, 86 degrees Fahrenheit, and where that area off the coast of Africa may try to get to uh, near the Northeastern Caribbean, our water temperatures are right around 30 degrees Celsius or 86 to 87, 88 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. They are warmer. You can see 31 degrees uh, in the water, very close Celsius, very close to the US and British Virgin Islands. So some environmental conditions will be conducive for development and then we'll just kind of wait and see and I'll monitor to see if they do develop and where they may go. Now out there, I mentioned here's Bermuda. What's left of Milton is not even classified. This here is what is left of Leslie. That'll continue to make its way kind of spinning out there all on track with that one. Now, what's left over from Milton has worked away toward Bermuda, but look at those very high and dangerous seas, and that will even bring in some of the swells for us in the Eastern Caribbean. So the Atlantic face and waters, the Atlantic waters, are going to be higher as we go over the next few days. This here is on our Saturday, and you still see the higher seas, although getting better. Then as we get into Sunday and next week, it does start to build some in the Central Caribbean, nothing too high, but it will get choppier. And then later in the week, of course, if something were to develop, and this is by Tuesday, if something were to develop in here, those uh, seas in the Western Caribbean would get a lot higher as well. So getting a look at the names on the list, getting down the list, Leslie is still out there. Milton now has fallen apart. No longer classified. The next two names on the list, Nadine, that may be the spot off of Africa. We'll see. Could be an area in the Western Caribbean. And then the other names after that, Oscar, Patty, Raphael, Sarah, Tony, Valerie, and William. Let's hope we don't finish out the list this year, but we have the potential of uh, two more named systems. Uh, as we go over the next week or so. So again, a lot to watch out there right now, uh, but you don't worry, it's a high anxiety time. You go about business, nothing is imminent right now. I'll worry, I'll do the worrying for you behind the scenes. And you see, again, some of this extra rain near Nicaragua, we've been watching that. Hit or miss showers, we're gonna watch that. Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, we could get a couple showers kind of scooting over towards St. Lucia. Uh, and you see here a couple spotty showers over toward the Bahamas. There's that extra rain, Costa Rica, Panama, as we work our way into our Saturday. Uh, a small chance of a shower. Could see a few St. Vincent of the Grenadines through St. Kitts and Nevis, back through Puerto Rico, Haiti, Dominican Republic. And here we are in Jamaica. You see, once we get into 
uh, Sunday, the rain starts to build near Belize, Honduras, and Nicaragua, especially uh, Central America. That rain will be building. So Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Cuba, seeing if this kind of lifts either up to the north or Mexico, Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua, even Guatemala, El Salvador. I'll see if this kind of works its way off toward the west. Either way, regardless of development, we are going to see that additional rain building there. Now, our friends in the Atlantic region of Canada, things as a whole have been behaving. All that action out there, especially Kirk and Leslie, uh, they, those uh, curved very quickly. In Milton, the remnants of that have stayed away. Here we are in, uh, as we get over toward Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, uh, Prince Edward Island. Here's Bermuda just taking you through the next few days as we work our way into Sunday. Of course, the fronts, those are going to bring in some of the uh, cooler weather uh, as we move forward. Now, as far as the rain is concerned, additional rain, northern side of Cuba, parts of the Bahamas, uh, we could see some spots, 75 millimeters of rain or three inches of rain. And then here's some of that rain south of the Cayman Islands, south of us in Jamaica, uh, building as we get into the upcoming weekend, especially especially on Sunday. Small chance of rain Haiti and the Dominican Republic. And the rain chance is not high in Guilan, Antigua, Barbuda, St. Bart's, and uh, St. Martin. But know here that I'm watching what is going on off the coast of Africa. And we'll see plenty of time to watch to see if that area does develop. Passing shower, Dominica, Martinique, uh, back through Grenada. And for us in uh, Trinidad, and you see uh, Trinidad South through northeastern Venezuela and Guyana along the coast. Better chance of rain, not as much in Suriname. And this is going to be an area. I need to see how this evolves to see where exactly that flooding is going to be. Know that in Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama, uh, we're going to see some areas of flooding as the moisture builds again in the Western Caribbean. Thank you for spreading the word about that because some of those rivers will get high and, and dangerous and watching out for those mudslides. Mexico City on the dry side, swinging back toward Mexico proper right up through uh, Texas. So some scattered showers and storms possible for us in Jamaica. Rain chance today though, Cayman Islands only a 20% chance, 40% chance for tomorrow, 40 to 50% chance the next few days, Trinidad and Tobago, 30 to 40% chance the next couple of days in Barbados. St. Lucia, rain chance, 30% today, 30% tomorrow, 50% chance on Sunday, and generally doing a similar thing as we get into Grenada. St. Vincent of the Grenadines, same thing, 30 to 40% chance over the next two days. Rain chance, 30% today and tomorrow in Martinique, about a 20% chance today in Dominica, a 40% chance of a passing shower tomorrow, 20 to 30% chance the next couple days in Guadalupe, and the next two days, Antigua and Barbuda, 20%, up to a 30% chance, still not too high on Sunday. Generally dry, St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat, same thing, Anguilla and St. Bart's, mainly on the dry side today, and we do that again, St. Martin, Saban, Stacia. The rain chance not high all the way through the weekend, 20 to 30% chance across Puerto Rico, rain chance very small the next two days, U.S. and British Virgin Islands. 30 to 40% chance in the Bahamas, favoring the Northern Bahamas. 30% chance Turks and Caicos. 40% uh, chance on Sunday, though. Isolated, mainly dry as we get back through the Dominican Republic in mainly dry conditions. In Haiti, rain chance stays low in Belize. No in Belize uh, that I'm going to watch out for this area developing uh, in the Western Caribbean. So thank you for spreading information about this channel across Belize. I do appreciate that. Rain chance about 20%, 10 to 20% chance. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire looks like through the weekend and even into next week. 40 to 50% chance northern Guyana and that rain chance small in Suriname. Best chance will be closer to the water in our northern sections. Rain chance bumps up a little bit as we work around to Cuba, especially eastern and central zones through the weekend. Costa Rica and Panama and then as we swing to the north through Nicaragua, we'll see how this area evolves. I'll monitor that chance of flooding. You see in Honduras how that rain chance is going to go up. I'll watch uh, Colombian Islands, uh, San Andres, Pro Providencia as the rain will build Guatemala and El Salvador 30 to 40 percent chance generally the dry and hot conditions in Mexico City just a 20 percent chance the next two days across the Yucatan Peninsula 40 to 50 percent chance in northern Colombia 30 to 40 percent chance in northern Venezuela and of course the remnants the leftovers of Milton nearby Bermuda today as expected so we have two areas to watch uh, and then this leftover area Milton uh, near Bermuda what's left of it did I get an extra eye in there. I definitely did. Uh, Tropical Storm Leslie, that one is curving, but here are the two spots watching the Western Caribbean and off the coast of Africa. So in tomorrow's video, that is going to be my focus. Are we going to see more development or signs of it? over the next 24 hours. I'll be covering that in tomorrow's video. Until then, I hope you're doing well and have a good day ahead.